up guys, it's Eric from Beastline. Today we have here a Toyota Tundra from 2020, all the way to current model. And it's a non-JBL model and we're gonna be installing our plug and play DSP Encore X power amplifier to this vehicle. Very, very easy to install. And there's actually plenty of room right behind the radio for us to mount that larger amplifier behind this. So it makes the installation super, super easy. This DSP amp has the ability to change the sound staging specific to the vehicle's acoustic, the car's factory speakers, and also the radio. So the tune is made specifically for this vehicle and our master sound engineers in Japan went ahead and spent a few days um, tuning it just to get that precise and most perfect sound you can possibly get on this Toyota Tundra. So let's not waste any time. Let's get inside the car and let's install it. All right, guys, we're in the vehicle. Now let's go ahead and remove the radio, connect our connectors, route our wires down here under the passenger seat. Let's mount the amplifier and let's install our Encore X DSP amp. Okay, first step we're gonna do is just remove this panel. Use a panel removal tool like this. Place it under here, we're gonna pry it out, just being held by clips. We're going to disconnect this connector, like so. Don't forget to reconnect it later when we reinstall. Just place my panel aside, and there's four 10 millimeter bolts that we're gonna remove. Right here, one, two, three, four. And just a heads up, if you end up removing this connector because you want to make more room, make sure you remember to reconnect it. If you don't connect this back, you're gonna get a check engine light on your cluster and you will have to cycle your car by turning it on and off five times to reset it or to get rid of the error code. So make sure to reconnect this before you turn on your car. Okay, if you don't, you're gonna get that error. All right guys, so we were gonna remove this radio, but it looks like there's plenty of space back here. As you can see, I did a test fit. There's no adhesive to it yet, so what we're gonna do is apply some double-sided tape on the bottom so it stays put right here. As you can see, there's some cabling and wires going past. You, you're going to have to maneuver around there, but um, there is a pretty good location for it. Since um, I was able to test fit this here fine, let me pull it back out, okay. And let me connect our plug and play harness connector here. First, just to make sure everything is working in order, we're gonna tuck away the harness and apply our adhesive. And that will conclude the installation. So very, very easy. All right, and looking at the harness here, you'll find a bunch of connectors. This will connect behind the radio, right? And there's a warning sign here telling you exactly where the connector is. There's two, there's another connector that this actually fits. If you put it in there, you may short out your radio or you may short out the amp. So be very careful that you get to the right connector. I'll show you exactly where it is. And on top of that, there is an illustration that shows you where it is, okay? So this side will go to the radio. This side will go to the original connector that was originally connected to the radio will connect here. And these two black ones, this one will connect to the radio and this will connect to the original connector that was connected to the radio. And this will connect to the amplifier right here. So to get to these connectors, reach down here. I'm gonna show you how to do this without removing the radio. Let's first remove these two one pin connectors, these thicker cables. The black one's going to the left and the brown one to the right. I'm gonna unplug these so it's out of the way. Okay, right under there, then we're gonna remove this one here. Huh? Might be a little difficult to see. Okay, and then we're gonna remove the one right next to it. All right. So we remove this connector here and this connector here. And these two. Right next to each other. Okay, so we will now connect the corresponding connectors to our harness. And when you're connecting this, you must hear the click. Like that. Right? And then the male side will connect to back to the radio. 
and make sure you're here for that click. Okay, now let's grab the, the black connector. All right. And the mail back to the radio. Okay, and then let's grab this. All right, and we're going to connect to the amp. And if you ever want to expand your sound system, add a subwoofer or more speakers, you can easily do so using these low frequency speaker outputs. And you also have a remote wire for additional amps if you wish to add more amps. All right, so we're going to test to make sure we have sound before we start to mount our amp and organize our cables. Before we do that, let's reconnect all the cables to ensure we don't get any errors. And the beauty of this is it's tuned specifically for this vehicle. We spent three days tuning this, one of our master tuners in Japan. So you can feel confident that this is the best sound that you could possibly get using the factory radio and the factory speakers in this Toyota Tundra. So we don't have to tinker with it. There's no gains or anything that we have to mess with. But if you do want to make some adjustments, you can connect your laptop to this and use our powerful program to be able to make the adjustments that you want. All right, so we got all this connected. We have a lot of cabling because if you want to route it to under the passenger seat, you definitely can. But in this case, we don't have to. So I'm going to carefully organize all our cables and make sure everything looks very clean behind here. Right. So I'm gonna mount it exactly how I showed it to you earlier. We're gonna put it flat over there and it's gonna be facing this way like this. So we're going to place the double-sided tape on the back side right here. All right, here we go. All right. Looks like it's on there pretty good. And let's tuck in all the excess wires. All right, so we got all this in. And yeah, that basically completes the installation. So let's do an after so we could compare the before and see how much difference it makes. And before we do that, uh, we're also going to install these 10 millimeter bolts back in. And if you paid attention to my video, you'll notice that you didn't have to remove this because originally we were gonna remove the radio. But we found that there's enough room behind the radio, so you don't need to remove the radio. And because we don't need to remove the radio, you don't need to remove these 10 millimeter bolts. So I'm gonna put this back in, but just note that this is a step that you probably don't need to do. But if you decide you want to remove the radio because you just have a hard time reaching the connectors or removing them, you definitely can do so. Um, in our very first Tundra video we made, installing our amp, we did remove the radio, so you definitely can do that. All right, and don't forget to connect this, your cigarette lighter plug. So funny. There's no more cigarette lighters anymore on new cars, but everyone still calls it a cigarette lighter plug. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I only call it, I don't know. Maybe it's called a 12 volt. 12 volt. Oh, dude, okay, people just call it a 12 volt plug. Mm -hmm. It's no longer a cigarette lighter plug. No. All right, cool, let's do an after. Now, 
Alright guys, well that concludes our installation, demonstration, and before and after of our Encore X DSP power amplifier on this 2020 all the way to the current Toyota Tundra model. If you're looking for an additional improvement to your factory sound system and you want something more than a standard amplifier or Encore Alpha, this is the next level up to the Encore X DSP amplifier. Go ahead and give it a try. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or you can email us at info at bsonicusa.com. And once again, guys, if you haven't yet help our channel, we would love you to subscribe and also give us that like as it helps us very, very much. Thank you very much and I'll see you guys on the next video.